what I'm going to do now is in this tutorial is if I open open the scene and I go back to the desktop the setup project that we um, set up in the last tutorial and then scenes and then have a look here I've got one for polygons which we did that's the planet one that we I saved in the previous lesson just open up this polygon one so in here I've got uh, two um, polygons spheres and um, again just to remind you that um, you can dolly in and out and you can um, track uh, by holding the alt key track back and forward up and down and then you can um, easily tumble by calling the command and left mouse button to tumble around the objects themselves and all the end track around till you get the position that you want to to work from now i want to draw your attention to this section here this is hi the hierarchical button that you will use um, for working with your selection masks and it allows you to select nodes at different levels um, which you will use in the future um, and it can you can start working with the roots of objects and then there's different settings of uh, the leaf and the template nodes but just now today I'm just going to work here there's two that I want you to be aware of here which is um, this one which if I click on it is object mode object mode allows you to select scene elements at the transform node level and these include objects such as surfaces curves and joints and then we have component mode as well and you see when i click on the component um, mode um these these um it, it turns the object blue with these you can see the little cv points here on it um which is a uh, com component type selections or selections made to objects at the shape node level such as isoparms and CVs. Now this is this is the same for nerves or for polygons. We've just been working on polygons just now but this is for um, it's, it's the same you have object mode and you have component mode. Object mode it turns it green this green frame around it and component mode. Now I just want to be uh, you, let you be mindful also is when you're in shading here you can have wireframe here. You can also have um, smooth shade all that we had. And I want to draw your attention to the X-ray because you can see through the object. Sometimes this is very useful for them for you when you're working on them. Now we're just going to go for smooth shade all. Take off the X-ray, so we're back to here. Now um, there's other menu systems that I want you to be uh, aware of as well which are um, when you right click on an object you'll see that there's this choice of menu that comes up and um, these this is a marking menu now if I go into um, just say the face it will uh, it will allow you to see you can click on the faces of objects these turn green and mine's that's slightly different for yours but there's a mesh that's created if I write these faces, then you can manipulate. So if I go into the edit mesh, mesh and then do extrude, there's an extrude tool which will allow you to extrude out. And if I hit G, it will take me back to the same um, menu again. Uh, the same tool again, return you to it. And you can see you can start creating shapes and forms from your objects with the extrude tool. I'm just going to take that back. Um, now, if I go on to um, the object again and I hit vertex, you'll see that these little CVs here, which again, even if you use the move tool, you can start forming shapes by selecting these and manipulating these on your polygons to the shape that you wish. And as always, you can do changes of scale and rotation in the attributes editor or in the channel box as well. Now, if you have history on, then you can look into um, 
the uh, the build that you've used and the inputs and the shading that you've done the, su the subdivisions that you have here and you can look into the objects themselves and manipulate them and change them now if you do have history on it will um, it will increase the file size and the polygon count of your object so once you've created your objects you need to delete history by type but we'll go on to that in another lesson. I just want to, you to be aware of these um, marking men menus which you can use um, to access um, the shapes of the objects. Um, and go in, you can go back to object mode if you like, or you can go into um, the, uh, you can go into edge and start selecting the edges as well, shift up and start uh, working with edges and make selection and changes to your edges of your objects get them more defined if you want down the edge of an object so these are um, ways of selecting the objects and starting to manipulate and change the shape of them using the marking marking menus when you right click on your mouse and do um, go into these these menus and that ends the lesson on um, objects, object mode and um, component mode in um, building shapes and forms of, um, shot, uh, of, of, of uh, Romaya.